and I like to party when I go to class late. I like to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Right. I might start spitting. I might start dipping my dick in your drink. I might have a disease. And I'm trying to give it to you, baby, baby, baby. Don't let me spit in your mouth. If we're playing this in Western Washington. My dad's a lawyer. A piss lawyer. A piss lawyer.
want to give you an opportunity to leave us. If you take it, we will not be offended and we will never see each other again. This is your only way out. You have children, right? They probably want to see their father more often. Remember, this is your path away from all of this. Make the right choice. I knew you would. Goodbye, Samuel. Stemolonian. Can you read it? Yeah, what the fuck? Just give me a second, fuck. This doesn't make any sense. It translates to, the nature of the universe is contained within the letter H. I suppose it would be a good idea to say it in the language here, so any really cool curses can come upon us and all this sand around us will transform into a face like, in that movie, The Mummy. Remember that movie? Oh, well, here I go. Rim rim I it quite a read root or your res of it craft quite fill and radical rims I co view she axes and axes and axes and axes and axes and axes and What the fuck is going on? Am you? Dennis. I am the great Eucharips McWay. I am your forefather. I am one of the original founders of the Intergalactic Order of Stam. You must understand the threat facing the peace and Stam maliciousness facing the universe now. You must teach everyone you can about the power of the letter H, the sacred I-5, and the agenda of Team Stam. Rock on with your dead selves. Also, sunglasses and leather jackets are the sacred attire of those who promote peace and Stam. 
Fuck yeah, I'm out of that room. I did my bit. Now I'm going to go fuck some babes and get like a cheeseburger or something. Do they have those still? I hope I didn't miss them. They go extinct after the great cow famine of 2000. What the fuck? I have said way too much. Later, Chomsky Honk. <laughs>
Tedious fucking slime hounds would be nothing but trouble. We can take in every pet you found, Venice. Now go play outside with your brother, Emu. Emu, it is me, your brother, Venice. Our original alien parents have betrayed the slime hounds and sold to us with them. They are nothing more than puppets for the trade now. Those rotten flesh traders. We must flay them like Bobby. He was once our bassist and now he's fucking dead. What a fucking idiot. I know, right? What a stupid piece of shit. Damn, you shot that guy. Yeah, we murdered him. And it's time to crime again. Let's get the ghost from that ancient secret slab to drag their dumb asses to hell. He was freed from that sacred duty and he's like 14 million deep by this time tonight. Fuck. Uh, let's use that time traveling demon and just change the past so they never existed. We were gonna do that anyway. 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 We were gonna do that haunts me to this day that you shot that guy then flayed him with me. I just imagined his skin sort of slugging up to me, leaving a shitty blood trail. I have nightmares about suffocating in Bobby's skin, brother.
Listen to me, you fuck man. You ravenous king walk, you animal. You thought that you were sucker. I will choke the human out of you. By morning, you will be a member.
plaques on the hard floor as she made her way over to the dining room table. A spritz from the bottle and a quick wipe made the table clean. Allie put down the spray bottle and smoothed out her French maid uniform, tugging the top down a bit, smoothing out the skirt and checking to make sure her stockings were straight. Madame hates it when my uniform isn't perfect, uh, Allie thought to herself as she adjusted her cleavage in the mirror. Allie at the door rustled as she rushed to the door. AJ, the lady of the house, entered. She was dressed professionally, slacks, a tight blouse, and glasses. Welcome home, madame, Allie said, smoothing out her uniform again for AJ's inspection. AJ sternly looked at Allie. Turn, bend, lift, AJ stated, putting their briefcase down by the door. AJ's face turned to worry as she did what she was told. Allie turned away from her madame, bent at the waist, and lifted up her skirt of her uniform. Spike! Allie jumped at the sudden impact. Spike! Allie yelped at the stinging in her ass. Spank! Allie moaned in response to AJ spanking. You know you aren't supposed to get your uniform dirty, Allison, AJ chided. Allie blushed and turned away from AJ. I'm sorry, madame. I was in such a rush to clean the house and make it perfect for you and sir. AJ held up her hand to make Allie stop mid-sentence. I don't want any excuses. I don't understand why my husband... AJ held her hand to show off a wedding ring. Insisted on having you as our personal maid. You are very lazy and I'm sure you just felt sorry for you. AJ lowered her head as her madame was saying to her. She felt like she was about to cry when AJ got her attention again. Hey, yeah. AJ said snapping her fingers in Allie's face. Pay attention. It's bad enough you're disobedient, but I won't have you ignoring me when I'm speaking to you. Sorry, ma'am. Allie said looking at her much shorter madame again. Now, remove your panties and lower your skirt. I'll be in the den. I want a glass of wine, AJ said, heading to the living room. A hey, yes ma'am could have been heard as she entered. Allie moved as quickly as she could to remove her panties, her heels making it hard to balance. Allie eventually got her panties off and placed them on the kitchen table, rushing to fetch her madame a glass of wine. As she clapped her oils on the floor, Allie moved quickly to bring a yes to AJ, who was sitting on an easy chair. AJ didn't even look at Allie as she took the glass from her and started to drink. AJ just stood there. I mean, Allie just stood there as AJ scrolled through her phone. After a few minutes, AJ finally looked at Allie. You know what you're supposed to do, right? Yes, madame, Allie submissively replied. She knelt down and moved in front of AJ, who stood up and took down her pants and revealed a freshly shaved pussy to her madame's adoring eyes. AJ scooted closer and shake her tongue into her madame's pussy. AJ let out a moan as her maid did her duty. Softly working her way up, Allie sucked where her leg met the crotch. She heard a sigh from above as she used one finger to tenderly play with the velvet folds, but avoided the woman's clit. Better, sighed AJ as she spread her hips. She reached down and grabbed the back of Allie's head. Now get me off. She pressed Allie into her crotch. Oh God, you got me worked up. Haley said as Allie continued her work. <laughs> Suck me, you slut!
Fuck me, you slut! Oh, fuck! Seconds later, she ground her crotch into Allie's face and arched her back as she crested. Croaking on her own breath, Allie shook in ironic bliss, having no pain. As both women came down from their experience, they heard a single clapping from the other side of the room. Darling! AJ said, smiling as she stood up, pulling at her pants and heading down to her husband, Austin. AJ kissed Austin on the lips as AJ. Allie stayed kneeling on the floor watching them. Allie licked her lips! Austin looked over to the maid and smiled. I see you still like using our maid for your own pleasure, Austin said as he patted Allie on the head. Almost patronizing her! Of course, thing! It's what the little slut is for! Allie said standing in front of Allie! Running your hand through the maid's hair! Austin spit toward his wife and smiled! Fuck this fucking story! Fuck this! Fuck! This is the worst story I've ever read! The story about the fucking stable boy was better! Oh my god! That dude had a 20 inch dick and was fucking a stable boy! That was better than this! Fuck you! Who was this? This is Cuck Queen! A Velvet Dungeon story by Evil from CSSA! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you!